Your tutorial bruv Dr. Root 7 signing in for another one. Review complete. Now let's get into modifications. This video is not about the custom firmware. That's for a later video. It's about upgrading and modifying the existing stock firmware of the RG35XXH along with the RG35XX Plus. This will improve the overall performance and bring in some changes. Some of the noteworthy ones are fixed game crashing issue while running them through RetroArch. It also added automatic recovery function for damaged RetroArch config file. Also fixed save state issue with some RetroArch cores. So majority of these fixes are related to RetroArch. So expect improved stability when it comes to emulation through RetroArch. And also additionally you can now use cheats on PSP games. The rest please check out the GitHub page change log section and you'll get more details on the list of other changes. Before we start, the very first step is creating a backup. Always create a backup of the system files. Just copy paste them to a safe location. Along with that, change your factory issued SD card, the TF card that comes with the Anburning device. These stock SD cards are as reliable as a gold digger saying I love you. Unreliable. Let's start with the upgradation process. All right, so before we start with the upgrade process, this update supports both the stock OS and the modified stock OS simultaneously. Make sure that the required system version is no less than the one that is mentioned here on the github which is 20231212 if you want to check your firmware version just uh, follow through by going into the settings like how i'm showing on the clip i am already on a higher system firmware version so it's already safe for me to continue with the update package all right so with those in mind just go to the second link in the description you're going to be taken to this page with all the change logs and everything feel free to take a look at all the changes and just scroll down until you see the downloads it will direct you to a google drive just open up a new tab and you're gonna see all these these bunch of stuffs rg35 xx plus however i'm guessing that it's going to be the same the process will is going to be the same given that xxh shares the same operating system interface and features with the xx plus literally the same handhelds with just different model structure based on your model just download the files clicking on the three dots and then just selecting download so additionally you're going to select custom themes as well because i'll be showing you guys how to apply custom themes so let's start with the upgradation process given that you have already downloaded the update file and just extract the contents so i already have it extracted Head over into the extracted folder, you're going to see RG35XXH, a subfolder. Head over into that subfolder, you're going to see two more folders. I'm not interested in theme customization tool, so I'm not going to talk about that. It's not in my area of interest. We're going to head over into the first folder with that says um, stock OS mod. The first folder that you're going to get after heading into the stock OS mod is the OS image and update package. We're going to in this video since I've told you that I'll be updating helping you guys to update and modify the existing stock firmware. So we're not we're only going to be focusing on the update package not the OS image. OS image is basically for fresh installation if you want to extend create separate partitions and stuff like that. We're not doing that. Okay head over into the update package and you're gonna see another rare file. Just extract that rare file. While the file is being extracted well it's completed. We're gonna insert take out your SD card the TF card from your from your handheld Put it in a card reader and insert it into your computer through a usb port let it show up okay there is a problem with this drive this, see this is what i'm talking about don't do not rely on these factory issued tf cards they're just not proper you know so head over into the extracted folder you're gonna see a subfolder named apps head over into your connected sd card and head over into the roms folder and just paste it inside the roms folder Okay, so the apps folder has been transferred. Now, we're gonna transfer the custom themes. You're gonna download the custom themes the same way you downloaded the stock OS update and use WinRare or whatever to extract. And you're gonna get the custom themes folder. Head over into the subfolder. We have a lot of custom themes. You're gonna see like a lot of these rare files. I'm gonna extract one that says purple so we're gonna do that i'm gonna extract the theme that says gradient head over into the extracted folders just copy that 
head over into your ROMs folder and paste it inside the ROMs folder. Eject the SD card, remove it from your USB drive. We're just gonna insert it into our Anvernic devices. Okay, insert the SD card into the TF1 slot. After that, just turn on your device. So once your device has been booted up, head over into RA game and then look for the apps folder icon. Look for the RG35XXH upgrade. Here are the two custom themes, the theme gradient and theme SF purple. Select the upgrade with the A button and let it do its thing. Okay, this dialog box will appear. It says upgrade package model RG35XXH, upgrade the application, D-pad right, and yes okay it says upgrade successful press any key to restart the system approximately three minutes so it's going to take approximately three minutes damn this one my handheld vibrated and now I have this red indicator blinking light stopped blinking do not panic if it's stuck on the Anvernic logo with the red light flashing that's totally fine it's just completing the update process so it's just applying the update so we are done with the update process we're gonna head over into the settings and scroll down and firmware version it says 2024022 so that means we just successfully installed the modified stock OS firmware we're just gonna apply the custom themes I'm gonna apply the purple theme there you go theme has been applied now this is how you apply the custom themes let's try out the second one so basically the purple theme was kinda like bland when it came to the to the main menu screen the system screen I don't know what's going on now it's a mishmash of both you know what Let, let's start let's restart the system I don't know what's up with the gradient background but anyways you get the idea about the custom themes let's try out some games you know what let's try out the frame skip and see how that's gonna work frame skipping let's do one Now it runs a bit better, but I feel the choppiness. I mean, not all the PlayStation Portable games are going to be the same. Percent of FPS, you know what? We're gonna do percent of FPS and we're gonna set it to two. Yeah, this is not too bad. So set the frame skipping to one and select it by syncing it with the FPS. So that's going to give you a favorable, oh my God. I not so favorable because I just got hit now the gameplay has improved by a lot yep plays a lot better a lot better I would say this is way definitely way more playable than how it was when we started the game this is this is the perfect setting I would say frame skipping to one and frame skipping type to percent of FPS you can do auto frame skip but I wouldn't recommend because you know there will be certain areas where it you know the gameplay is going to fasten up and it's going to hinder the performance the gaming experience so just don't do auto frame skipping set it to how I have shown that is it with the stock firmware modification that is definitely going to bring in some changes in terms of stability alright guys so that is it for this one Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. This is how you upgrade Anvernic RG35XXH along with RG35XX Pluses into modified stock along with the application of custom themes. Make sure to like and subscribe. This isn't the icing on the cake because we are yet to install the custom firmware for this device. So stay tuned for that one. And I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Dr. Brute 7 signing off. Peace.